What's up everybody? Holy Walkers here. Walk another video to your doorstep and guys Christmas is almost here So what are we doing? We are out in front of the abandoned Toys R Us now I know all you kids are waiting on your Christmas presents But Santa won't be getting any help from Toys R Us this year because it's closed so um, Sorry Santa's gonna have to order all his presents on Amazon anyway we are out here doing an explore, doing something different tonight because we wanted to just come out. This place is, this whole shopping center is like abandoned. There's a whole abandoned Circuit City, abandoned Toys R Us, and a bunch of other stores. So it's really sad to see that happening. But you know, at the end of the day, True Meaning Christmas is all about Christ's birth. And we're just out here having fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's do this. I got the best for so much as you really They got the cash register, that's about it. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. So they're still in the process of tearing it down. So this entire shopping center is abandoned. Abandoned stores, abandoned Circle City, abandoned Toys R Us. Christmas carols, and there's nobody here. All right, guys, so we are at this abandoned shopping center, actually at Toys R Us. Uh, you know, it's Christmas time. I know all the kids out there are wanting toys this year, and unfortunately, they can't peruse any of those toys here at Toys R Us anymore. So, best bet is to go online and start looking for what you want, kids. Get that new Xbox, get that new PlayStation, get all the new toys and bells and whistles. You can do it, but anyway. Kyle just got him a new PlayStation, the 4K version. He's loving it. Let's get the new PlayStation. So he's at home right now playing that. He bought it himself. That was his Christmas present to himself, I'm pretty sure. Toys R Us ads I used to love. Circle all the stuff I wanted for for uh, for Christmas. Nice. Birthday. It's kind of sad. You can see though, they still have all the... <laughs> These stores are going under mostly because you can order everything online. Right. You know. Big box but stores can't compete anymore. It's As the R zone over there. Us. All the electronics. Yeah. Everything's gone. Up there, that's the booth where the man was watching for the kids still in toys. No, kids didn't steal toys, that's bad. I think the best thing about like toys is, I mean, that was like your imagination, creativity, and that's kind of one of the reasons why we do YouTube, you know? It's all about being creative and using our imaginations and making things and like, there's some good things in that, you know, maybe, you know, being out in the world and just being creative and Having fun, like when you were, when I was a kid, that's what we did. Like if we wanted to go do something, we went out and played games. We played chase, we played war, whatever. Um, you know, we actually went out. And, you know, most of the kids this generation, they're playing video games, which is all cool. But, you know, there's so much world out there. And as you can see, eventually all these things come to an end. This business comes to an end. It's gonna take different avenues. You know, Circuit City over there, you can see it. We'll kind of walk over there later, but it's taking its own demise. Um, but toys, you know, it's all about creativity, having fun, playing, um, which is also always really cool to see. But I hope you guys have a great Christmas this year. Um, I always think of Christmas as being magical, like even being a kid, like, like I grew up in a Christian household, obviously we know that we're celebrating the birth of Jesus, but my parents, you know, we still, we still enjoyed 
most of all when Santa Claus would bring us some Christmas presents and my parents always did so many things to make that just a magical experience. Um, I try to do the same thing for my kids. It's a time of the year for giving. Uh, but everyone loves to get things, you know? Everyone loves to receive things. It's the Toys R Us customer pickup, guys, when you did your layaway items. This is where you would come get them. You ordered your stuff online. You can come pick it up back here. The big items. What big items did you guys have for this year? What do you got in store? Get some big Christmas items you're picking up for your kids, some big things for your grandkids, for the loved ones, your nieces, nephews, nieces. The good news is with online shopping, everything comes right to your doorstep, just like this video. All right guys, let's go check out the pickup window and see what's here. turn into a creepy explorer after all the... You know, who's back here? Three strange people wandering behind an abandoned... <laughs> We're looking for Canada. toys. We're looking for toys, exactly. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Oh, I'm just Ooh, looking for some toys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what though? We did find a leather couch or a leather love seat. Look at this. Oh, nice. Yeah. What? Just missing. Oh, yeah, it's a whole chair. It's actually not in terrible shape or something sitting out here in the back like this. This one probably dumped it. Yeah. Well, they don't have any dumpsters right here. See the dumpsters are right outside. Yeah. I want to see what's in the dumpster. See what's in the dumpster? Yeah. First dumpster diving extravaganza? <laughs> As we get closer to Christmas, we've reverted to dumpster diving to get our kids presents because, you know, we kind of can't afford the real presents anymore. My kids need to be buying me something for Christmas. That's what I'm saying. I think they took all their... Oh, no, they took the dumpsters away, didn't they? Too many weirdos like us walking around. Well, there's nothing else to really throw away, guys, let's be honest. <laughs> Buildings are so abandoned, there is no garbage cans anymore. There's a neighborhood over there, they're going, why are these people walking through with cameras? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a pretty cool spot to enter us as well, because they live right there. Yeah. Cold out here. 
I think this was the Circuit City was on this corner. Yeah, I think you're right around this corner. Because there's the installation center. So they would do like probably car radios and stuff. Yeah. See it? They actually had like garages. That was big. Right. So here we are at this abandoned Toys R Us. Every kid's wish inside at one point in time. They long to just enter the doors and find all of their favorite future presents for birthdays, Christmas, or just because their parents wanted to tell them they love them. But it's gone. A business has come to ruin. And now all the Toys R Us are desolate. Unable to compete with the online chains discounts, pricing, an era that went on for many years comes to an end. And you can see like so many other stores, you know, this is just a good sign of like even just small businesses that, you know, have started in these businesses and come to an end. like. Every restaurant, every store, you know, maybe some still exist somewhere else, but at the end of the day, like, they've come here and slowly, one by one, they've left the shopping center and abandoned it. So if you're out there running your own business and you know how hard it is, how tough it is, um, you know, just keep your head up, send in prayers your way. If you put your whole heart into something, if you give it your all, you can be successful. You, know, you just gotta find those things that the customers want. So many of these, just abandoned. I remember being a kid and going to Toys R Us. I remember buying all my kids toys at Toys R Us each year. Ordering that favorite toy, picking it up at the store. Bicycles, skateboards, the Legos. Toys R Us always had the best Legos. Video games, everything you can think of. Even the Babies R Us, buying kid clothes and stuff for my kids. You know, a lot of great memories with Toys R Us. My kids grew up on that. I grew up on that. Some of the kids out there have grown up on it and now it's gone. Go. What do you guys say? Look at the camera and say it. Thank you, Grandpa! <laughs> and it's kind of sad because it's a place like, while well, online shopping can be great, you know, being able to go in and test out the toys and play with them and really like just get excited as a kid. I mean, even if you didn't have the money to buy toys, like you could take your kid to Toys R Us and let them play with all the toys in there. <laughs> but you can't do that anymore. So, kind of sad. And up here, again, we just have multiple businesses that have left this shopping center. There's a couple on the far end that are still open. I don't know, watching little kids play with toys anyway is just like a... Like it's so fun when your kids are small. The littlest things can excite them, make them happy, 
bring joy to their hearts. Um, that's why to me, like Christmas, like giving someone something, there's so much joy in giving. You know, when you give to others around you, you bless them with something that they really need or want. You know, it's just such a great feeling. Like I love doing that with my kids. Um, their whole childhood, like being able to bring joy to their hearts, like with a simple gift. You know, that thing they wanted all year. Um, so cool. Just seeing them be happy, you know. You know, but we take things for granted a lot in life. And uh, don't take your kids for granted. Don't take the relationships you have with them. You guys need to back up a little bit, I think. I'm tired. One of the biggest things I love about Toys R Us was probably their just motto or their jingle or whatever, you know, about never growing up, you know, always being a Toys R Us kid, always being a kid, always playing. Um, you know, Toys R Us wasn't just for kids, you know, adults bought plenty of video games here, you know, because we all have a, we all have something inside of us that wants to continue to play. We miss the moments in life where we were playing where we spend time with our friends, where we're having fun. And, and I think that's something that we all inherently want in our lives is we miss our childhoods. We, we want to continue to have fun, play, because working can be hard. Working, you know, can be stressful. Raising a family can be stressful. And we, we think back to those moments in life where we could just be a kid and where we could just go outside. And the funnest thing we did was jump on our bikes on a ramp or talking to our friends or hanging out with everybody or laughing and those are moments you want to recreate in life and I would just challenge you guys to continue that even though Toys R Us is gone and even though we may not be kids anymore you know play have fun be a kid go spend time with your friends and your family and have all those laughs that you used to have recreate those moments for you in your life and never stop playing never stop giving everything to everything you do uh, because it it truly is the most important thing in your life. And it truly will be the thing that gives you the most happiness in life. So, keeping kids, guys. If I can leave one message to my kids about life, it's to just keep playing, to just keep having fun, keep being a Toys R Us kid your whole life. It's a motto that can live on through all of us as we live our lives. Even though the store is gone, we are gonna continue to be kids. It's the one thing that they laid in their message was keeping a Toys R Us kid. Keep being a kid, guys, keep playing. Kyle, Ethan, I love you. Keep playing. Don't give up. Dream. Dream big and do whatever you want in your life. And always keep playing. I love you guys. He's coming with his rules of my gold A magnificent sight for us to be old In Egyptian King Islam Dance, Ethan! How did they do it behind you? No! <laughs> Come on, Ethan! Come here. Okay, ready?
<laughs> oh my god. He was like, oh. <laughs> 